Hello, Mr. Mayor. I'm Mackenzie. I'm going to be interviewing you. Okay. Thank you. What do you plan to do as mayor of Key Biscayne? What do I plan to do as mayor of Key Biscayne? Well, there's a lot that I want to do. Um, we're talking about all the projects we have to do to make the island better. We're talking about burying the power lines, burying the utilities. We're talking about trying to improve the beach, improve the water quality. Uh, we've got to deal with the causeway, because the causeway is our only way on and off the island, so we've got to figure out how to make that better so we're not stuck here when it gets really crowded on Virginia Key. So those are the things I'm planning on doing. Do you live on Key Biscayne? I do. Um, how long have you lived here? I have lived here 15 years and 363 days. <laughs> how do you think of Key Biscayne and its people? I think Key Biscayne is the best place in the world to live. I think it's better. I've lived in a lot of places, and I don't think there's any place I'd rather live than Key Biscayne. What is your job as mayor? My primary job as mayor is to, so, so we have a council, right? We have seven members of council, six council members of the mayor. So the mayor's job really is to hold the meetings, if you will, to, to organize the meetings, to make sure the meetings move in a good way so that we're all, we're able to speak, everybody able, is able to get their ideas across, and then we can make a decision and we can move forward. And then it is also, as mayor, I'm responsible for interacting with other government entities like the city of Miami or the state of Florida or the federal government that the mayor is supposed to be the, the point person on those things. What do you do when you're not working? When I'm not working as mayor I work as a lawyer and then when I'm not working as a lawyer or as mayor I am with my family and with my daughter Mia or the dog or my wife Maria or my son Santi when he's around. Are, I'm hanging out with people like your parents, and we're at the yacht club, or we're at the beach, and we're just trying to have fun. What are your goals as mayor? My goals as mayor would be to resolve the issues. Well, first to make communications better throughout the village so that we're all more involved, so that more and more people are getting involved and taking care of, because it's all of our village, right? I'm, I'm just one resident, but everybody in this room is a resident. Uh, everybody that you know, you go to school with, we're all residents. So my goal is to make it so that we're all working for the village, so that we're all really contributing in the best way possible to make it a better village. When you were younger, did you picture yourself as being mayor? When I know, I wouldn't say it was something I really thought about when I was younger. Um, it was only when I moved here that I started thinking about getting involved in local government. I realized how important it was. Do you have family? I do. I have a wife, and I have a son and a daughter, and a dog and a cat. Do you enjoy being there? I do. I think it's good. I think I get to do fun things. I get to do this. I get to do all sorts of events. I get to talk to more people. Um, and I get to be a part of making decisions that help the village. I think that's an important thing. I feel that being mayor, I, I am contributing to keeping Key Biscayne the great place that it is and, and trying to make it better. What are your favorite things to do as mayor? Things like this. I love coming and doing interviews at schools. I like going to openings, grand openings. There's Pomodori is opening in a couple weeks. I get to cut the ribbon, so I probably get some free pizza, which I think is a good thing. Um, I like interacting with the people. I like, you know, I, I like helping make decisions. Is being mayor difficult? Sometimes. Sometimes you have to make tough choices. Sometimes you have to go have half the people want one thing and half the people want the other thing, and you have to decide which you think is the best thing to do. So sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you can't make everybody happy. So at some point you've got to make a decision and stick with it and, and, and go. Did you look up to someone when you were young? I looked up to a lot of people when I was young. I think my, my first real, the first person that I, I thought was my hero was Abraham Lincoln, actually. I got books on Abraham Lincoln when I was seven. Um, I got books when I opened a bank account. They gave me a, a, the Carl Sandburg's Biographies of Lincoln, and I read them, and they were really good, and I really, he was one of the people, and he still is, a person that I really admired for his, how difficult the times were when he was alive, and what he did to try and make the country better. So yeah, that's somebody I, I really looked up to. Have you learned anything new about 
the key when you were I am always learning new things about the key. You can never stop learning about Key Biscayne. There's always different things to learn about the history of Key Biscayne, about the roads of Key Biscayne, about how we do things, our parks, our beaches. There's always something new to learn. How do you feel about Key Biscayne going green? I'm all for Key Biscayne going green. I think we need to do more and more. We have to be better about it. We have to. We have to do. We have to work on getting rid of plastics wherever we can. We have to do better with our beaches. Make sure we're cleaning our beaches. Make sure the water quality is good. Make sure that we're doing things. Solar power. We should try and be doing more with solar. We should try and get people out of their cars and walking or doing electric vehicles. But we have to do. We have to do better. All of us. What have you done so far as mayor? What have I done so far as mayor? I guess I've, I've been in office three months now, almost four months. And I guess we've had to deal with Ultra, which is the big concert that's going to happen at the end of the month. So we've been working with the city of Miami. Um, I've been trying to build a relationship with the county so that we can talk about issues like the water quality and like the causeway. Um, and we've moved forward legislation on the undergrounding of utilities. And we're looking, at, to, to your point about going green, we're, we're pushing forward with uh, sustainability and resiliency, looking for ways that we can be better. How did you feel when you were elected? Happy. It's fun to win. It's tough to lose, but it's fun to win. So I was, I was excited and a little nervous because it's a lot of responsibility. A lot of people are counting on, on me to do the right thing. Do you think our past mayor, Lindsay, or other past mayor for influencing you? Yeah, I think they. everybody influences you. I, I work, I, I still talk to Mayor Lindsay, I talk to Mayor Kaplan, I talk to Mayor Vernon, I talk to Mayor Rasco, I talk to Mayor Festa, because they all have different perspectives so that I can learn something from them and how they did things and how there are things that they did that I want to incorporate and there are things they did that I want to improve upon, but we all are a team. Do you want to be Mayor second term? We'll see. Yes, I, I think I would like to because we've got so much to do and, and the mayor's terms are different than council members. Council members are for four years each and the mayor, you can only serve two terms of two years each. So it's a much shorter term so you have less time to sort of get things started and get things done. So yeah, I think I would like to have a full four years to try and get some things accomplished. Do you think people look up to you? If so, how do you feel about it? I think some people look up to me because I'm mayor. Um, I think, I hope that I'm setting a good example. I hope that I'm doing the right things. I hope they see me as somebody that they want to look up to. Um, I think some people don't look up to me. They disagree with me and they think I'm doing a terrible job and that, that's their right. They, they have their, everybody has the right to their opinions, but hopefully I can at least convince them that I'm doing what I believe is in the best interest of the village. If you had to change one thing about Kiwi's game, what would it be? Traffic. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Thank you. Nice job.